You have to. If you, if you can, if you can't turn the page, I mean, I think you're in the wrong sport. You know, you 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 just can as a baseball player, you can let a, a, a any game uh, being in your mind for too long. You know, if you if you're not able to do that, I think you're gonna have trouble uh, in your career. You know, knowing what this team has accomplished while well, you've been here and some of the veterans and ball players that are in this clubhouse, is it mystifying, surprising that you guys can't get a get a run, going, get a roll? I mean, just like you look at this series, obviously. And, well, know. we're trying. You know what? We're not playing little league teams. You know, there there there's big league teams in the other side too, and. You know, we're just going out there and, and make sure that we play the game hard, you know, and, and see what happens. And unfortunately, we've been coming up uh, on the wrong side some close game like today. Was Iwakuma doing, uh, you know, I know you guys had success finding the first three hitters. Uh, you guys had a couple of runs, but then from there, he really looked like he settled in. Was it something he was doing different, differently there? I think he just kept the ball down the whole game and... You know, he was able to uh, uh, keep everybody off balance. You know, he started using his fastball inside, elevating, then, you know, throwing his plate in the dirt, and he did a great job. I mean, it, it was a, it was a well-played uh, game, you know, from both sides. You know, unfortunately, somebody has to win, somebody has to lose. You may have already answered this, but uh, when Rodney, obviously, it wasn't intentional, but he did uh, that ball that hit you there late in the, late in the game. Where did it actually uh, catch you, and was it just some of ankle, nothing. Serious. Just walk it off, no problem. Yeah. Victor, can you comment on what David Price means to this team? I mean, he's he's been huge. He's been uh, he's been throwing the ball great. It's it's not just this year. He's been throwing the ball great his whole career. There is no doubt. Every time he takes the mound, he's gonna uh, he's gonna be a well pitched game, you know, by his side. So we just gotta make sure that we score run for him and. That's it. I mean, it's, it means a lot for this team, for have sure. You, have you thought at all about what it's going to be like if they do trade trade him? Next time you come back, he might not no. be part of the team. I don't really think about that. I was part of a few years ago, and I don't really think about that. I mean, you can't control. You know, we got we have to control what we can control, which is coming to the to the ballpark every day, play hard, play hard, and and see what happens. Victor, for most of us, we'll never experience what this week is like. You're a guy who's been traded before. What, What is this week like for a Major League Baseball player? Uh, you know what? Well, well what I uh, went through, it's, it's not fun, especially when you have family. And I remember my, my son was like four years old, and I got traded on the um, like a couple of hours before the deadline. And... I had a, a text from the GM saying that he went to bed the night before and it was nothing serious. And I was like, yes. My son, he, he heard me and he, he asked me, Daddy, are we still an Indian? <laughs> and I mean, until now, yes. But, uh, you know, it's tough when you when you have family. It's, yeah, especially when that was a team that uh, I got drafted, you know, and I spent... I don't know, 13 years in an organization. It's always tough, you know, when you have to leave a, leave a place that you kind of grew up. Thanks, Victor. Appreciate you.